Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder EX here back with more Let's Play Jean d'Arc. And we have got a fun fight coming up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show off all the stuff that I did off screen, because I did a bunch of stuff off screen. Alright, uh, for one, I think I've got the best crap that I can get on her, on everyone at the moment, so that's okay. Uh, one, the axe that we got, the Jenny's wings, really not as strong as Spirit's Health. So I guess Spirit's Health is the most powerful one. Like, that's, that's actually kind of disappointing. Like, this one gives better accuracy and attack. This one actually gives defense. So it's like, eh, six and one half dozen the other. Like, I'd rather have the accuracy. Especially for what's going to be happening here. I'm going to need accuracy. So I went through and I removed everyone's skills. Uh, I also I equipped the Angel Bow on her. Not that I'm going to be using it in this fight. So this fight, like I said, I'm pretty sure this is the hardest fight in the game just right off the bat. So what we're going to need to do is... Pay attention to this one very, very intensely. So I made some HP Recovery 3s. I skipped HP Recovery 2 and went to HP Recovery 3 because I could get three of them. Uh, I had six HP Recovery 1s. I uh, sent those down into three HP Recovery 2s because it takes two reco HP Recoveries to make HP Recovery 2. And then it was HP Recovery 2 and a Luna Spirit plus two, I believe, to get HP Recovery 3. So I now have three of those. So I'm going to need one on Lahire. Lahire is... He is... very needed for this fight. Uh, we also have a whole bunch of HP pluses. I've uh, bumped up to HP plus 150. It's kind of a waste, really, because it takes two HP 100 plus 100s, or uh, Luna Spirit plus 3s, so it's really a waste to, for that extra 50 uh, HP, so yeah. Um, and then we're going to go with what is going to be the best option. Um, probably accuracy, really. Uh, accuracy plus 10 is the highest we can get. So, that's Lahire. Helm Splitter is required because of its lower defense capabilities. So, next up, the next major important person we need is Giles. And Giles is going to need... Actually, did I put... There's one other ability I need on Lahire, and I don't think I put it on... Oh, no, I did. Dragon Slayer. That, I didn't talk about it. Dragon Slayer is Ravage plus Luna Spirit plus two, and it increases your damage against dragons. It I can't find any concrete numbers as to how much it increases, so that's it's kind of an obnoxious thing there, but... Want that? It just says stone housing ancient braves who fought dragons to bay deals additional damage to wyverns. So it should do extra damage to dragon type enemies, and we're going to be fighting a dragon type enemy, and that's going to be really needed. So we're going to give him HP plus or HP plus 150, MP plus 100. We're going to give him attack plus 20 and accuracy plus 10. All right. After that, it really doesn't matter who we get. I'm going to go ahead and put most of my big stuff on Jean, because I'm going to have her as a just-in-case uh, type person, so we're going to give her preemptive two rounds. I don't have any more Dragon Slayers, so we're going to go HP plus 150, MP plus 100, attack 20, accuracy 10. So, that's Jean. <laughs> And then, I believe we can have several other people in this fight, but it really doesn't matter who else we have in this fight, because those three people are the important factors. So, I'm going to throw in Kalei, he's going to throw in three hits, he's going to have... I have enough uh, HP plus 150s to give to an entire team. You don't need 100 MP, but you do need extra attack and accuracy, and we made mobility plus two. Uh, we took the two mobility plus ones that we had and added them to uh, raise mobility, the spell, and that gives you mobility plus two. And there's really 
Uh, I'm going to throw in heal 2. Not that it's going to be absolutely necessary, given how much uh, HP recovery 3. Oh, sh that's also something I need on, on them. Alright. That's something I need on all of them. HP recovery 3, and she needs HP recovery 3 as well. So I don't really need the HP plus 150, because the HP... Recovery 3 is going to be way more beneficial than that, but she doesn't need MP plus 100, so she's going to get that. Alright, so we've got... Kalei, let's bring Marcel in. He's going to get range plus 1. Um, there's really nothing good for him that will actually work to this advantage. Because uh, Sniper 3 will guarantee us a great deal of accuracy, but it's going to kill our damage. Poison Shot and Stun Arrow, I don't believe, will actually proc on this monster, so... You know what? We're going to give him two rounds and hope that normal attacks work. Let's see. Attack plus 20... And accuracy plus 10, and we'll give you heal as well. Why not? Alright, Richard, I think, is going to be my next... Yes, Richard. You have a new spell, Thor's Hammer. You're going to take heal too. We have magic attack plus 20 as well. I'm going to give that to him. And then you're going to get MP plus 100, HP plus 150, and I could give defense plus 3. It's kind of pointless, though. Uh, let's give you another offensive spell. Let's do Blizzard 2. Why not? Because Thor's Hammer, that's going to... That'll help a little bit. Alright, so how many units do we have equipped with skills? Let's start with Jean and work our way up. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I could do another. I don't know who else is going to be worthwhile in this fight. Uh, but I'm, I'm probably going to need someone. I think you're going to be my, my best bet, so let's give you recovery shot, range plus one. You're going to heal from a distance, because there's no way in hell you're going to be able to... Uh... Actually, you're going to be a support, is what you're going to do. You're going to do raise force, I'm going to give you MP plus 100, and... HP plus 150, so you can heal... Well, I don't really need that if we've got heal 2. Actually, how much... Equip level 15, level 16. Restores HP to target. Restore, okay, so that'll give me better range. So I'll just keep that, and she will be range. Let's see, do I have... Raise mobility... Uh... Let's go for lower defenses. All right. So that's going to be my my plan for this because this this fight this fight sucks. This fight sucks incredibly. Defeat all enemies, all allies fall in battle. Uh, again, this is an optional fight. Uh, the I don't remember where the and we only need five people, so that's. So we need these three for sure. Everyone else, let's go ahead and throw you in for a defense. And... Why not? Uh, I don't remember where the treasures are. They're not worth picking up because this fight, we have one enemy we are facing. Tiamat. Level 70 dragon. 
2600 HP. His stats are incredible. Attack of 660, defense of 420. Magic attack of 640, magic defense of 370. He has Meteor, which is a powerful ability, but it's also kind of eh. So what we're going to do is we're just going to move people forward. What we have to do in this fight, we have to hit with Helm Splitter. Helm Splitter has to connect. That is our biggest concern, is making sure that ability connects, because if that doesn't connect, we're going to do crap for damage with everyone else. No matter how much we raise our own attack, we need to cut his defense down. I believe uh, Helm Splitter lowers defense by 20%, so that is just enough for us to actually do significant, or not even significant, but acceptable damage. So I'm also going to spread everyone out because he has uh, the flare ability, the fire, which means he's going to, you know, kind of be able to hit and wide range. So, we're gonna want to be careful about that. And I need to move higher closer, so I'm probably not gonna move anyone else too much closer. But once we get close to him, like, he is at least ten levels ahead of us. Uh, more so in some cases. He is twenty levels ahead of Lahire. Twenty. So that should tell you just how much damage I'm expecting to do to him. And I'm actually going to move over here, because there is a treasure over here. I think it's in the first one. And... Let's see. Skills. We've got raise force. Let's increase someone's attack. Just by a little bit. Because the three of them are going to be the only ones really doing anything. Alright, he's going to move forward just a little bit, just enough to use Flame. Oh no, he's going to get right up on Jean and Tail Whip. That's going to do 198, but we'll get the majority of that back with HP Recovery. HP Recovery 3, 137, so we're 60 HP short. But I should be able to reach him now, yes. Alright, Skills, Helm Splitter. I have a 51% chance of hitting. I have to be able to hit. Alright. Notice how that showed it did zero damage. Because uh, we're, we're not going to do a lot of damage. This is going to do about 30 points of damage a hit. So... Yeah, that's how we have to be able to do damage. Alright, let's... Skills, lower... I don't think I can lower defense anymore. Let's do recovery shot. Heal the last of that. We're just going to keep her off to the side. That's going to be her big thing. And we're going to sneak behind here. And John is going to do no damage. Like, I can... Like zero damage. 70% chance to hit zero damage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say screw it and we're going to use some of these files just to guarantee 30 points of damage a hit. Like that is the point we are at. I can't do 30 points of damage guaranteed. So what I have to do... Oh shh, okay. Uh, she is too close to Jean. I need to move her out so that she can heal. Because I'm going to need to be able to keep the healing up. H really? Recover. 3 HP with HP recovery. Okay. Let's see. I... Skills, recovery shot. I'm actually going to move her back. Because I'm still within attack range. So that's the goal, is just to keep the three of them alive. This is going to take a while. And I took a long time to... Uh, 37 with a 27% chance to hit. 
So I'm going to just go ahead and use files as well. I might be able to get behind him with Kole, and three hits might do some damage, but probably not. No. Just for shits and giggles, though. Guard, guard, miss. But hey, a level up! Alright, we are going to need to do some serious damage. Uh, we are going to transform. That'll help with the damage a little bit. And I think every two turns I have to refresh Helm Splitter. I think it lasts three turns, but you don't want to go... Let's see, Celestial Drake. 74 points of damage. Sweep. 44. So that just... That's... And Giles is going to level up like crazy doing this. So we are going to massively overlevel Giles. And it kind of sucks that none of my other people get anything close to being that useful against the oversized enemies like this. So it really sucks. It just, it's... Like, I, I've hit the point of the game where I'm actually really disappointed in a lot of... Actually, uh, let's... We're gonna move... over here, so that next turn we can try to get close enough to Giles to do, uh, raise force. To get that going up, so that... Because Giles is our, our damage in this. He's... that's... He is the only hope we have of actually doing damage. Alright, so I missed. Skills, sweep. So I guess it, it'll miss regardless, so I guess I have to wait to the next turn. Items, another file. We've got searing file, which does an AoE. Let's... I don't think it'll do anything... What is... do you have a... you don't have a, uh... Alright, let's go ahead and try Searing File, see if it hits multiple times. Oh, it does! It hits twice! That is beyond obnoxious. Alright, let's just end turn, because there's really nothing else we need to do at the moment. Poison Breath. Alright, that's fine. Because all it does is poison. She'll take some damage from the poison. HP recovery will heal. 46. So. And. He's going to transform. Let's see. I don't think. I can't get him with Ray's Force. Let's hit herself with a recovery shot. We'll move over here and hit herself with a recovery Scott. Recovery Scott? Yes. Uh, shot. I, I just... Bow and arrows are not meant for, for that sort of thing. Alright, let's see if we can hit with Helm Splitter, because the defense down effect is gone. Alright, perfect. That's what we need. We need to be able to do damage to him. Skills sweep. And damage. Level up. Yeah, Giles is probably going to hit close to 65 by the time we're done. Items. Let's do Moonglow File. That'll hit for 60. Yeah, I don't understand the multiple hits. Let's see, I could transform, but I guarantee you that's not really going to be worthwhile. But I've got time. Time is what I've got. Well, actually, I don't have time in this episode, but uh, I've got time to rebuild my stats. So, skills... Ordained End... 39. 
Alright. So after this turn, I will go ahead and end this episode here. And we will just continue on. Oh. I need to move Kalei out of there right now. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Because Kalei does not have... Uh, HP recovery, so he needs to move. So, yeah. I will see you guys in the next installment. So till then, later everyone.